Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and a fascinating rule set today. Um, and this puzzles by Darth Paradox, who's been a bit of a, a difficult solve in the past. So we will see how today goes. Oh, there's a bit more brightness. Okay, um, now we'll look at that in a moment. Don't forget that on Patreon you can still try the fantastic um, Blobs Sudoku Hunt, Lord of the Rings. Um, also on Patreon, all sorts of other stuff every month um, with videos of how to solve previous um, rewards and videos of Simon solving Fistamafel at the moment, me solving crosswords. There's always some content there to appeal and we commend it to you as we do our apps, which are on the links under the video. Um, and they do feature Sandwich Sudoku, a small feature of today's puzzle. Um, and they're good fun as well. So give those a try, some of them anyway. Um, they're very good value. And Sven Sudoku Pad is great, and our merchandise isn't bad too. So check out the links under the video. But the first link will take you to play this puzzle, which, as I say, is called Star-Crossed Sandwiches by Darth Paradox. And I'm gonna go through the rules now. Firstly, you will note that it's a 10 by 10 puzzle, not nine by nine. So this time we're placing the digits zero to nine once each into each row, column, and region. No boxes today. Irregular Sudoku. Identical digits may not be separated by a knight's move, and that inspires me to pick up Knighty McKnightface to remind me when I forget that there's a knight's move constraint. So. Because there's a one there, none of these cells can contain a one. They're all a knight's move away from that one. Um, ooh, the digits zero and nine may not be orthogonally or diagonally adjacent to each other or themselves. So they're playing a form of star battle, zero and nine. If that was a zero, none of these could be a zero or a nine. Is that right? They may not be orthogonally or diagonally adjacent to each other or themselves. Okay. Now, a clue outside the grid, and there are only a few of them, is either an X sums clue or a sandwich clue, but not both. So, exactly one of the following is true. The clue gives the sum of the digits between the zero and the nine in the indicated row or column. So for this column, Either the sum of the digits between the 0 and the 9 is exactly 22, or the clue gives the sum of the first x digits in that row or column, starting from the digit next to the clue, which is equal to x. So this could be a 4, and those 4 digits would add up to 22. If that was a 5 and this was an x sums clue, those 5 digits would add up to 22. The question mark may be any valid clue. That's very non-specific indeed. So that is a useless thing. It's obviously not, but it's weird. Anyway, give it a try. I don't know what this is going to take to solve, but let's get cracking and see what we can do. So these numbers, I mean, none of them are helpful. Forget the question mark, which is unbelievably unhelpful. The 22 could easily be a, an X sums beginning with four, five, actually not six, but okay, that is a, a little bit more limited than I realized. It couldn't begin with six because you can't actually make up 22 in six digits, including six. The only way you can make up 22 in six digits is one, two, three, four, five, seven, which it doesn't include six. So if it's X sums, this is four or five, and we're adding four cells or five cells to make 22. But it could easily be sandwich. Okay, and something I'm gonna quickly point out is that the zero to nine thing has got two odd effects. One is that the normal numbers of digits that could be trapped in a sandwich clue has changed. And the other is that you might have the exactly the same counting digits in a four or a five 22 clue 
depending or not whether you put the zero into it. I think this is the row where we've got to start. Um, this has a clue at each end, and, and those clues are not the same. Absolute knowledge bomb there. Six is not the same at four. Come to Cracking the Cryptic for fascinating maths information. They're not the same, but that means something. That means that at least one of them is not a sandwich clue and is therefore an X sums clue. Maybe both of them. Now, I think we just have to case test a bit. Four would normally not be able to be an X sums clue, but this puzzle is different because of the zeros. It is, right. Normally you couldn't have four as an X sums clue. Why is that, you ask me? Because if the first digit, the X, oh, sorry, I will turn off the, um, the pinging from my, um, from my email. Right, if this was a one as the X, if, if four was an X sums clue, which it normally couldn't be, you couldn't start with a one because you'd only be adding one cell that would add up to one. You couldn't start with a two because you'd be adding two cells to get to four and they'd now both have to be twos. And you couldn't start with a three because it would be too many digits. However, with zero in the mix, you still can't start with, you can't start with a zero. You can't start with a one because you'd only score one. You can't start with a two still, but you could start with a three and have zero and one here. So that four can be an X sums clue. Now six, could have been an X sums clue anyway. Maybe we can work out that they can't both be X sums. If this was an X sum, we'd have three, one, and zero over here. But then look, you could put a two in here and have a four here. They can both be X sums. That's really annoying. Because I feel that six can be a sandwich clue as well. Maybe it's not possible for six to be X sums and four to be sandwich, right. For six to be X sums, you have to begin with a two or a three. Four won't work, I'm confident. You have to begin with a, a three and follow it up with two, one. Then you could have a sandwich clue of four trapped between zero and nine. If you began with a two, you'd have to have a four next, but then you could have a sandwich clue that involved zero, one, three, and nine. So I don't know. I don't know what we can conclude from this. Are we meant to do this kind of star battle with zeros and nines first? It doesn't look, I suppose, Okay, maybe the knight's move applies to individual dig digits, but the, the sort of no touching rule only applies to zeros and nines. What I mean is, look at this cell. Okay, if this was zero, where are you allowed to put a zero in this region? That's quite interesting because that is a knight's move away. These are touching it, and that is a knight's move away. If that was a zero, this is a definite zero. Then, where can you put a knight's move in this region? Well, it's a bit limited, but... But why should that be a zero? I don't know. It's... I can see there are restrictions. Ah, the law of leftovers. Right, let's cut the grid in half. These five rows contain the digits zero to nine once each. So that's five lots of zero to nine. And this now is highlighting five shapes, which also contain five lots of zero to nine. And the implication of that is that these two digits are exactly the same. And they touch each other, so they're not zero or nine. I don't think that has changed what I was looking at for six and four because, has it? Has it changed it at all? 
Oh, okay, let's look for other law of leftovers stuff, but it looks a little bit more tricky. I mean, those four, if we cut this off after four rows, those four stick out and those four stick in. So those two groups have to be the same cells, the same digits is what I mean. And they're all different because of the group on the right. Of course, there's symmetry, so those four are the same as those four. I mean, you could go as far... No, I was going to say, if those two and those three, but it's those seven all stick out from the final columns, so they must be the same as these seven that stick into them. That's, that's really not anything you can use, certainly not at this phase of the puzzle. I mean, I don't know what phase we've reached, if anything. OK, I'm going back to the 6-4 row. Neither of them needs to be a sandwich, but at least one of them needs to be an X sum. Now that might be over this side, 3 and a 1, 0. Oh, well, maybe this is interesting now. The trouble is it's not, because you could still have an X sum clue, 3, 1, 0, 2 and 4, 9. Oh, well, four and two, well, no, four, oh, hang on, three, one, zero, right, neither of these can be a four, so actually that's quite interesting. Why can't that be a four because it's in the same region as this given four? Why can't that be a four because it's the same digit as that four, which is in the same column? So that's getting interesting. So if this was three, one, zero, this end, being an X sum four clue, if it was 301, and I have thought of that, if it was 301, you'd need another 5 to make up the clue, and then that would, to make up the sandwich, and then that would be a 9. That's not allowed to be a 9 because it touches itself. So that doesn't work either. So I think we have just proved something for the first time, which is that if 4 is an X sum, then 6 has to be an X sum as well. Now, it would be wonderful if we could do it the other way around as well. To say... Oh, well, hang on, that proves 6 isn't a sandwich completely. It does. Because if 6 was a sandwich, 4 would have to be an X sum. But we've just worked out that if 4 is an X sum, 6 can't be a sandwich. So 6 is not a sandwich, therefore 6 is an X sum clue. OK, well that's something gained. 6 is an X sum clue and it either goes 2, 4 or 3 and a 2, 1 pair. Now that wouldn't have used... Oh, well I... No, not either way around. Um, that wouldn't have used any of 0 or 9 was what I was going to say. So annoyingly, they can still go in the puzzle anywhere surrounding, or in the row, anywhere surrounding a single four, which is a little limited. They could be there, there, or there. It's not very limited. Oh, hang on, that can't be a f Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm positing three and a two, one pair. And then the rest of the row would have to have to be, for 4 to be a sandwich clue, we'd have to sandwich a 4 between 0 and 9. But none of these digits can be a 4. They're either in the same box, the same column, or they're yellow as 4. So actually, none of those could be a sandwiched 4, although this one could be. So if 4, if that was 3, 2, 1, and 4 was a sandwich clue, that would be 4. If this went 2, 4, Then, well, then we've got both possibilities open, that this 4 is a sandwich clue with 1 and 3 being sandwiched between 0 and 9. But is that possible? Well, 1 and 3 would have to be here and here. That 1 prevents any of those digits being a 1. So if you were going to sandwich 1 and 3... Oh, what am I positing? 2, 4 at the start. 
Oh, this is so confusing. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to make some notes somehow. So, this is a definite x sums clue. Maybe I need to... Let's give myself all the tools available. Maybe I need to put a little x in the grid here to say I know this is an x sums clue. And we've either got 2, 4 or 3 and a 1, 2 pair. I feel the 3, 1, 2 thing is the most limiting because that rules out x sums from this end, which can only be 3 followed by 1, 0. So if it's 3, 2, 1, then we've worked out that the 4 has to be sandwiched here between 0 and 9 in these two cells. Ah, now that's not breaking the rules of star battle. This sees a lot of cells in this box. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't break, but, well, I can't see that it breaks. But it's very constrained. Okay, that's what happens if this begins with a 3. That must happen. Now, it's much more flexible. If this begins with a 2, then this is a 4. Then... Ah, hang on, hang on. If we have 0 and 9 in these cells, remember those four cells become these four cells. And they have to then obey star battle rules in this region. And that means one of them is here. And we've seen that that's a very constrained digit. Now, this is definitely worth thinking about. Let's say that was a 0, 9 pair in this situation I've just posited. One of them has to go here and one of them has to go in one of these two. Now, the one that has to go here has to also repeat in the, this left shape, this corner shape, there. And it's in one of these two in row six. Wow. I mean, this is craziness, but it is very constrained, actually. I don't know, is this worth thinking about? I am going to carry on thinking about it because it's quite peculiar. Also, maybe I need to think about the 12 clue. I don't know, I don't know. This is so weird. Um, okay, let's think about the alternative first. Now, that's a 2 and it's got a 4 here to make the X sum work. Now, this could be a 0, 1, 3, 9 group. But that's quite interesting because, again, because 1 can't be in any of those cells, and this can't be 0 or 9, where would you put the 1, 3 pair? You couldn't put them there or there or there or there. You'd have to put them here and here if this was a sandwich clue. And again, that would be 0 and 9, and this would be 0 and 9, and both of those would go in these four cells, ending up in those three cells by these weird star battle rules. Okay, and the final alternative that I have to consider is that this is a 2 and that's a 4, and this now is a X sum clue, beginning with a 3 and having 1, 0 in these cells. Well, that only forces 0, 1 and 3 into this group. That's not so interesting. So I am going to spend more time thinking about 0 and 9 being forced into these cells. There might be something that goes wrong with it. So bear with me. This is craziness. Okay, we're imagining that this is zero and it has to go here in this region. Now, it has to appear in row eight. Ah, and it can't be there. Hang on. I think there are... It's difficult, isn't it? 
Well, maybe it's not. I thought I was seeing... Well, first of all, okay, I'm imagining that these two purples are one of these digits, and I'm calling it zero. Then in this region, lots of cells are ruled out. All of those are definitely ruled out. It would have to end up in one of these three. Those two would rule out that cell and force that to be zero. Then where would you put the same digit? Oh my goodness. Oh, you'd put it there in row seven. Okay, that is possible. That's frustratingly possible. But that which is the, oh, no, 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 it couldn't go there in row seven. Hang on. If it was in one of those two, it's forced out of there and has to be there. And then there's nowhere in row seven for it to go because it's either touching one of these or a knight's move away from, from them. There's literally nowhere for it to go in this box under any circumstances in that situation. So it's not in those two. It would have to be here. Now you have to place it in row eight, and it ends up in one of those two, so it can't be there, and it ends up in that one. Okay, this would be the position of zeros, or nines, of, of, one, of purple, let's call it, if this situation applied. Okay, I'm literally going to colour that just so I get the idea. That would happen to purple, and it would be whatever, whatever was here becoming purple. And then you'd have the other digit, let's call it the 9 at the moment, in this cell, which would also be here. Now that would end up in one of those two cells in this region. This. I was going to say it's less constrained, but I'm not sure if it is. It would be there and in one of these two. That rule, I mean, that's interesting. Those two rule out all of these four. They don't quite rule out these ones. That is ruled out because of the knight's move pincer on there. So it would end up in one of those two positions, one of those four positions. I mean, this is getting crazy now. Oh, hang on, where would it be in the bottom row? Because it would be this digit. And it could be there, which would leave it... Okay, I mean, probably one of these things is right, so it's just not worth going through this rigmarole. Let me just think about the 12 clue vis-a-vis -a, -vis a 0 or a 9 here. I mean, it's interesting. I... I don't know. I don't think I can make a conclusion about that. So that is a real shame. I honestly thought we'd get something done here, and I haven't done it. Um, well, I thought for a moment we'd get something done. Oh, but the zeros and nines can't touch each other. Okay, hang on a second. What, what positions did we say for this one? It was, that must be in it. Um, I can suddenly see that in this final shape more clearly now. And then there. Okay, those would be whatever this is. Now the other digit is not allowed to touch. Ah, so it would have to be here. It's not allowed to touch these purple digits by these star battle rules. 
and it's there obviously. So it's not allowed to be here or here by those rules, it has to be there. And now there's nowhere for it to go in this shape. That's unbelievable. Oh, okay, well look, if I could learn the rules, that would help. But let's, I'll just show you. Imagine this was the other digit in this sandwich situation. It would have to go there in this region because it's not allowed to touch that digit by the star battle rules, which I didn't quite remember. But let's keep going with that because this now sees all of those cells. And we're meant to get this blue digit into this shape somewhere. And this sees loads of those. And that sees others. And it's not allowed to be there touching purple or there touching purple, so there'd be nowhere here. So that doesn't work. And okay, I mean, that's a very complicated proof. If that's on the actual path, it's tough. But there's so little information given, it may well be. And I'm going to go with it. I've now proved this cannot be the situation, and that was the only way... It was the only way we could proceed with a three here. That's what we were doing. And it's, it doesn't happen like that. Therefore, we have a two here. That is our first digit. 22 minutes in, yay. And that's a four to make that X sum clue work. And it's been done now. Now, this end. Now, have I, st I've probably, st Oh, it's not quite the same. Okay, I said, and I remember this, that if 0 and 9 were there, we could enclose 1 and 3 here. So, let's go back to the purple and blue technique. Because now those have to be here by the leftovers law and so on. Ah, but do we, maybe we don't know. You see, these are different cells from that and that, and there may be something not ruled out. That's really annoying. Um... But let's just try and think about it. One of these is purple. Okay, let's let's okay, let's say we don't know which of those is purple and blue yet, but that is purple, and that's purple, and one of these is blue at the moment. Now what? Now this region's purple. There or one of their those two. Now, it seemed to work last time that it couldn't be purple in those because that would have to be purple. And then there's nowhere in this other region with the four in it for purple. And that's still true now. So that would have to be purple and, and this fails. So it fails with purple in one of those two cells because that becomes purple and there's literally nowhere in this region where purple could now go. Given the knight's move, given the star battle rule, nowhere. Okay, good. So that would be purple again. Now, maybe things have changed again. We need a purple in row eight, but these two are now in the same shape as a purple. Purple would end up here or here in row 8 and now that couldn't be purple so that would be. Then we have to keep out of this region so we would end up with purples there. Then blue again would have to avoid it here. That would be blue. That would obviously be blue. And again you can't get blue into this region. It is exactly the same but I needed to go through that because otherwise my brain melts. And what we've now proved is that we cannot have an X, no, a sandwich here. So this is an X sum clue. Rather to my amazement that's a three with a one zero pair there now. And there is no, no, no information about the sandwich in this row. But we have basically we've completed the six and the four clue. Now, what we do know is that 0, 1, and 3 are in these cells. I mean, 26 minutes in, and this is all I've done, but, and it still feels like a huge triumph of actually achieving something. I'm afraid that is true. It does. Um, but, but even I will acknowledge we haven't achieved very much.
It's a pity one doesn't reach either of those and disambiguate the zero one. And these are five, six, seven, eight, nine as a group. I mean, that's not very interesting, but hey, if I can learn anything, I will pencil mark it. Now, maybe I have to move to this silly 12 now. Ah, hang on, there has to be a nine oh, in one of those four cells to get nine into this region. I was thinking about the stars now. I mean, I'd probably need to think about the stars a lot more, actually. Because they're so constrained, it's really interesting. Um, if that was a nine, we go back to nine and, and zero both being in this group, and their star battle prospects presumably still fail. No, that was depending on that being a star. Ah, yeah, 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 I don't know what's going on. I don't know how to move forward at all. It must be this 12 clue. Okay. Right, X sums on the 12. How would that work? Could this be as much as 5? And the answer is just... No, it's not, because none of these can be 2. So if that was a 5, we'd be adding these cells... The only digits we could use are 5, 4, higher digits than 5, and 3, 1, and 0. And you can't actually make up 12. They add up to 30, oh, 5, 4, 3, 0, and another 0. Okay, so that couldn't be 5 here. So it would have to be a lower number. It would actually have to be 3. And that would be a 3. And 3 would be made up with either a 0 and a 9 here, not allowed by the star battle rules, or a 1 and an 8 here. 3 with a 1-8 pair, and that would be 0. And bother me bother, that does work. That would be 5, 6, 7, 9, and so would that, and that would be an 8. I don't see any problem with that. So this could be X sums, but only one way, and that would be a three here. So maybe we could rule, wouldn't it be wonderful if we could rule out sandwich in this column, which seems very unlikely, but I mean, I can immediately see you could have zero, four, eight, nine, and that sandwich would work. And frankly, I think there are loads of other possibilities. So that is a dead end, unbelievably, cruelly. A total dead end. Wow, so I've got to do star battle somehow. I don't know, I don't know what I can do. So, one of these four is a star. Oh, okay, so I start colouring cells that cannot be the star. That's what I do. Those can't be stars. Now, these four contain a zero and they all see that cell. And they all see that cell. I'm including the knight's move, remember. They all see that cell. They all see this cell. They don't all see that cell. But this is worth doing. This is a good approach. I mean, it's weird in that it's utterly bizarre, but it's still worth doing. There is a zero in one of these two, right? So there cannot be a star in either of... Th oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Zero can be a knight's move away from nine. So I do not have the capacity to make those decisions. If you wrote a comment about that already, please delete it now. However, okay, they all couldn't be zero. That is a slightly different, maybe that is worth highlighting, where we can't put zero. No, I would much rather highlight where we can't put zero or nine, because that would actually give us information. So this one touches them all, so that's not possible. 
The knight's move doesn't matter between 9 and 0, so that could be a star. But we couldn't have stars here or here, because they would definitely be touching a 0 in one of those cells. Now, come on, anywhere else, this is, this is worth pursuing, I think. And if it's not, well, I'm sorry. Um, if this was a star, that's quite huge. Um, it, yeah, it's its its own repeat digit. The trouble is I'm now moving between thinking about individual digits repeating and thinking about zeros and nines not touching each other. Oh, okay, so one of these four is a nine, so that can't be a star of any kind. Oh, that, that's not necessarily right, because that could be a 9, and this could be a 5, 6, 7, 8 set. Oh, bother, bother, botheration. This could only be a 9, actually, if that wasn't 0. So you'd have 9 and 0 there. I've only just worked out, by the way, it doesn't mention in the rules that there are two stars in every row and column, as it often does in a star battle puzzle, but that's because it doesn't have to, because obviously every column has a 0 and a 9. That does get mentioned, as it were, in the rules, so I just need to be smarter. Um, and that probably applies throughout. Oh, look at that. All those four cells see that cell, so it can't be a zero. Oh, maybe that's making me think that maybe I should try and classify which cells can be zeros. Zeros or heroes? I don't know. I can't make this decision. I need your help. How do I decide? Because, I mean, those can't be zeros. Nor can all of these... I mean, that's getting quite interesting for one shape, for two shapes. That is getting quite interesting. Okay, maybe I should just look at which cells can't be zeros. Because there, there are quite a few of them. That one, for instance. That one I just discovered. All of these, because either the knights move or just ordinary Sudoku reaches them. Where else can't be zero? So the zero in the bottom left shape is in one of the two bottom rows. It's quite tricky just to put zeros in this grid. That's really weird, really strange at this point because we, we haven't really got anywhere. Oh, the shape with the four in it may already have a zero in. That, I was just trying to work out which of the other cells in it could contain a zero, and it wasn't very straightforward, but they don't have to have one. I don't know, this is so difficult. The shape up here above the three, that does need a zero. And it's either in one of those two cells, so that's a zero, or there, so that's a zero. And if it was there, then the shape we would need here would have a zero in this position. And then we could put a zero here in this next shape. And then there is nowhere for a zero in the Oh no, we've already got a zero in the right-hand bottom shape. But we're going to have a zero there in the original group. And we're going to have one, well, there or there in the bottom left shape. And that worked okay, which is utterly disappointing in a way. Okay, let's have a quick look at zero being in one of these chimney bits. And then that's a zero. And I think this is just a lot less constrained than the other version, annoyingly. 
Oh, well, zero in a chimney bit actually makes zero very difficult in this top right shape. Put zero in one of those two cells. Which, in turn, puts zero in one of these. which is a sort of X-wing, forcing zero to be in one of these two, because we know it can't be here. And the only place in this shape is now here. This is true. And then those are ruled out, that's ruled out. And there would be the top five zeros in the puzzle. And in the bottom half, where would they go? I mean, I'm going to keep going because this is just a fascinating group of chain of circumstances. Um, this shape down here is quite difficult now. One of those four. Oh, and those three are going to have a big impact on this bottom left region. Oh, it's almost, in fact, that would have to be it. And now you couldn't put one in this crazy shape that goes into the middle of the bottom row. That's weird. I mean, can I use that? It's a bit extreme. Well, I mean, I've proved it, that there can't be a zero up here. It's complicated, though. I mean, do tell me what you're doing that's cleverer than this, because I'd be interested. But I think I've proved that's a zero. That sees this by Knight's move. And I mean, at least I might be able to make some progress now. Now I can colour quite a lot of cells green that can't be stars. And now none of these can be nines. I mean, I'm, I'm using it. I'm sorry. It's happening. So these are red. That is my colour for, for stars. Oh, zero in this region I'm in is now fixed. It's there. Right, well, I mean, at least I can do some progress now. I might actually get going after 38 minutes. Um, now, zero in this region, that's ruled out. Both of those are ruled out, and that's ruled out, so zero goes here. Oh, hang on, don't put green in unless it is also ruling out nine, but they were. that's the only one zero could go in. So green goes in here. That's obviously green as well, because no, no, green is, in fact, that is where nine is in this region, because everything else is touching a zero. Good Lord. It's true. Okay, well, that's good. Now, I don't think that can be zero, because it sees all of these. I've only, I should have, no, I wasn't colouring it, but it can't be zero, so it's green now, because it also sees nine. So there is a zero in one of those two, which actually is obvious from the fact that I've got the zeros in rows eight and nine. Now, where is zero? We've had zero in this shape, so it's not there. We've had zero in this shape. Zero can't be in those two cells. One of these three is a zero in the bottom row. And that accounts for, yeah, one of those is zero. Oh, zero on the knight's move can't be there. So that is zero, which is great, because then I can go red and a bunch of green around it. Green fields. That's the only last cell that can go red in row six. That is the nine. And we surround it with green again. My lord, it is green. Um, this is nine in this bottom shape. Got to be. That's green. That's not nine or zero, nor is this cell. Now, there is... Oh, that's interesting. We've got to... F that's not nine or zero, but we've got to fit a nine and a zero into this shape. Not in that shape, but into this shape. So it's either nine here and zero here. Or nine here and zero here. There may be a way I can resolve that. I can't see it. But nine is in one of those cells as a result. Okay, come on. Let's take this up the grid. Zero's been done in this shape. But nine hasn't. Nine is in one of those cells. And that feels a little like the zero we had in that group. That means nine can't be here and nor can zero. That goes green. 
Um, oh, I was hoping to extend that logic. Oh, these two, these three, have all got a 9 and a 0 in their column, so they're green. So, 9 in this region can't be in those cells. One of those three is a 9. Do No, I was wondering if all of those positions ruled out all of these, but they don't, because you could have, for instance, there and there. However, those two are ruled out. That sees a 9 and a 0. So does this one. Oh, so 0 and 9 do have to be fitted into this shape. In fact, that is a 0. That's just Sudoku now. Okay, red and zero. I'm not missing another one in that region, no. So then these are green. In fact, all of these are green. And those aren't nine because that is nine, which is a very tricky position, given how much of this shape it sees. None of these can be nine. None of those. Nine is there. Now, we're gonna, I think we're going to finish off... I thought I'd taken nine out of those. I think we're going to finish off the colouring, weirdly. Uh, I might be wrong about that. But we'll see. Now, that sees 9 and 0. This region needs a 0. There it is. When I say finish off the colouring, I mean finish off the start battle, the 9s and zeros especially. This digit can't be 0, but we need a 9 in this column. Simple enough. This sees 9 and 0, but we need a 0 in this region. There it is. That gets surrounded by green... We need a 9 in one of those two cells, not one of those two. That feels analogous to what happened at the bottom. But we need a 0 in this row. There it is. That gets surrounded with green. There we go. And that becomes a 9. And we need a 9 up here somewhere. And we need a 9 down here somewhere, do we, in this region? Yeah, we do. That decides that that's not a 9 and is green. And then we write 9 in here and we colour it red. And one of these is a 9, but one of these is a 9, so it's not this one, it's this one. Surely I can finish off these two. No? Yes, I've got a 0 there. So 0 in the corner, 9 there, of course I can. These two go green. These two go red, and there is the star battle stuff done. Okay, that just took six minutes since I actually got a handle on it. Now, shook, please, please, I'm going to get rid of all the green now because it's done its job. Actually, let's turn the red purple so the stars are a more visible colour because the stars may also act as sandwich crusts. Can those add up to 12, for instance? I think only if it was... 4125. Now, is that possible? I think it is. That cell can't be a 2 or a 1, so it would be a 5. And then these would be a 1 2 pair, and that would have to be a 1, so that couldn't be a 1. So the only way it would work as a sandwich is that way around. Now, alternatively, it's X sums. Now, we looked at this. This would have to start with a 3 and have a 1-8 pair here. And annoyingly, that still looks possible. Oh, those were meant to be got rid of. Right. That's really annoying. I can't do that clue. I mean, unless there's knight's move Sudoku to do in this puzzle... I can't imagine... Well, OK, hang on. Look at four. Four can't go there, there, or any of those cells. So four in this region is in one of those, which are all in the same row. Now four in this region is in... No, it's not there, because we got a four. It's in one of those three. Oh. I don't know, it doesn't quite get anything done, but we're probably going to actually have to juggle these. OK, I'm going to go to this 22. Those four cells would have to average about 5.5. 5. 
which is easily done. Okay, can we start with a 4? No, those would have to add to 18. Can we start with a 5 as an X sum clue? These would add to 17. I mean, that's very doable. Maybe not very doable, actually. 8, 6, 3. But, I mean, quite, quite possible. Oh, and 6 would work here. I said earlier it wouldn't, because I'd forgotten about 0 at that point. Oh, that's really annoying. I don't know. Okay. Oh, look, 152 doesn't work there. Right, because that's in the same region as that 1. OK, can I rule out the sandwich version? Let me just check. For these to add up to 8, 0 is not available. They would have to be 1, 2, 5. Now, 1 can't be there or there. 1 would have to be here, but that would kill 1 in this co oh. It's much more straightforward than I realised. So this is not a sandwich. This is an X sum clue. And it had to start with a 3. We've worked this out before. Now, let's just check I didn't miss anything with a 0. No, I didn't, because 5 and 4 would need 3, 0, or 2, 1 here, which aren't allowed. So this is a 3. 2 is not enough, obviously. This is a 1, 8 pair. And that's a 3. And this is actual progress. We take 8 out of that cage and also out of yellow. And we put 8 in row 6 there. Now, where's 3 in this region? Not in those cells by Sudoku. Not in that one by Knight's Move. Come on, we might get something done here. Oh, look. All of these were blooming available in row 8. Just like 4. 3 is in one of those. Silly 3. Naughty three. But those can't be three and those can't be three. So three in that region is in one of those. Three in the first column is in one of those. I am going to pencil mark these. I don't care what you think of me as a result. Three can't be anywhere there. So three in this region is definitely here. And that rules out those two. See, the pencil marking works. That's why I do it. Not for fun. Now, three in this column. I bet there's only one place left, and it's at the top. Yes. That takes three out of the top corners. In fact, there's going to be no threes in the corners today. That is the only place for three in the top right shape. That's extraordinary but true. Now, how many threes have we got? We've got them all. Once we put that in, there we go. Threes are done. Threes are good. Threes are good. Ebony's are good. Um... Oh, I didn't put this one in. It's not there, and it's not there. It's here. Good. Now that's split out my four possibilities. Is that going to help with fours? I don't think it is, but apart from zeros, nines, and threes, fours is incredibly the digit we have most of. Oh, no, I should use the clues now. Of course I should. Of course I should. The, the clues outside the grid. Now, the 22, I mean, the question mark clue is crazy. Here is why the question mark clue is crazy. Because every place outside the grid has a potential X sums number. All you have to do is say, X is that, add up that many numbers, and there's a number. So, I guess the only way this could possibly be used is if the X sum value would exactly equal the sandwich value in one of two possible formations. And that's incredible. I mean, frankly, if Darth Paradoxes had done that, and I'm beginning to think he probably has, I'm well impressed. Anyway, these might add up to 18. What would they be? 8, 7, 3. They wouldn't be. 8, 6, 4, or 7, 6, 5. And then, that way a sandwich would be fulfilled. I don't know. If you're, if you're looking at this and going, it's obvious what to do next, my hat is off to you. You're a very, very clever solver. Because I don't know what to do next. I don't think this 17 looks very valuable. OK, X sum possibilities. We said earlier, well, first, OK, X sum 
can't be two and it can't be four. Three is obviously ruled out. Five would make these two equal seven, these three equal 17, and they would need an eight, I feel. Eight, seven, two, eight, six, three, eight, five, four. I mean, there's a lot of possibilities. Okay, I'm going to have to do ordinary Sudoku somehow. These can't be four, that can't be four, that can't be four. So the four in this region is in one of those two. So that can't be four because they both see it. I quite liked working with zeros and nines because of the king's move restriction. Um, I don't like so much working with just a knight's move and ordinary Sudoku, especially in 10 by 10. Two can be in any one of those cells, for instance. It, okay, these are two, five, six, seven in some order, but they don't all see one particular cell, unfortunately. Oh, those can't be a one, so the one in this column is down here. I mean, this is the sort of thing we're going to have to do. So that rules out either of these from being a one, and this one sees those two cells. So one of these three is a one, and that's the two ones in the bottom two rows, and that's an X-wing, and stops that being a one, because the two ones in the bottom two rows have been used up. So that's an eight, and that's a one. Well, this is the sort of thing we need. Now, one in this region. Ah, oh, well, one, hang on. One of those two is a one and one of those three. So the net, oh, so, oh, it could be there, bother. Okay, but the next one up is in row, whatever this is at the top. It can't be there because we've done the one, yes, because of Sudoku. Oh, there's only one place for one in this, given the knight's move there and there, it's here. And that means that's not a one, and that is. And that means that's not a one, but it doesn't resolve the one down near the corner or in it. However, let's keep going. Well, I want to keep going with our ones, but I don't have that much information now. Ah, that one, see this one I'm talking about, sees those two. So there's a one in one of those three cells in that region, and that does put one in the corner. Nobody puts one in the corner except we do. Now, one of these... No, that is the only place for one in the top right. That is a knight's move away from one of the positions for one there. Now, these can't be one, and those can't be one. I think that's right, and that is one. And then this shape is struggling for a one. All of these are ruled out. It's got to be here. That takes one out of there. Is that all the ones in the puzzle? Yes, it is. There they go. OK. Well, I begin to see how we do this now. Sort of. Dimly. Now, that eight was something else we got. Oh, look at that. That's lovely. That sees all those cells. This one sees those two. So I can whack in an eight there. And this is two, five, six, or seven. And the same as that. Green, um, because of that quartet and that quartet in the same region. Um, okay, good. Come on. 108394 in this region. Can't be there or there. Oh, I've looked at that before. It wasn't very helpful. I still want to do fours, but I'm not actually getting a lot of traction with them. Ah, oh, four in this side is in one of those. Four on this side, we've just said, is in one of those. And that confines those two to the bottom set. Oh, that nearly can't be a four, because it sees all of those positions, but it doesn't see that one. I know, I'm probably missing something very, very clear to you. These are two, five, six, seven. I mean, I'm not afraid to write these digits in all over the puzzle, frankly, because it's only the others that I've made progress with. Yes, I should keep on with the others. Eight. Look, those all see an eight. That's quite interesting. That means eight in this shape is in row two. Well, OK, the interest in it stopped at that point, I'll admit. Three, not nine, four. 
These are all from 2567 because they can't be 42. I mean, there's a lot of these 2567s around. I can probably start colouring those. But let's not forget the clues outside the grid because, I mean, sandwich here. They would have to add up to 16 for this 17 clue. 862. 7. Five, four. I mean, it's there's too many possibilities. I don't like it when there's this many. Maybe I should just track yellow around. Ah, is yellow the same as green or is it not? That's interesting because that yellow sees those two positions. So one of those is yellow. It could be green or it could be there. Okay, maybe I should track yellow around because yellow... That sees all of those cells, so yellow is in one of those two. Now, come on, let's, let's do something with this. Different approach. They both see that, so oh, that already saw it. In fact, that sees all of these, and that one sees that. That leaves two very disparate cells for yellow here, one of those. I'm going to mark it, because interestingly, that would have to go with that, and that would have to go with that. Oh, yellow in this region, is it definitely in one of these? It's five, six, or seven. It's got to be in one of those. And what do they rule out? They all rule out that cell. So that's definitely yellow, and now that isn't. And that's definitely yellow, and now those two aren't. And now that's definitely yellow, and this was worth doing not a two, it's five, six or seven. And it was one of my eight candidates in this, or candidate cells in this region. So eight is now in one of those two, which means that can't be eight. And those two can't be eight. So eight is placed in this region. That not only places eight in the region above, but four in its own region. And now things are coming together again. Come on, good man, yellow. You were doing the business there. Oh, oh no, there's nowhere for yellow in this box, so I've got something wrong. Oh, that's so depressing. I probably just have to go back a bit to where I was doing the yellow business. I must have done something wrong with it. That's really annoying, I'm sorry. Let's just take it to there. I mean, I can't imagine there's much wrong up at this point. Well, I mean, I can imagine it. I'm just hoping there isn't. If that yellow is right, and it is. Oh, of course, this region did not need a yellow up there because it already had one here. I just can't read my regions. Okay, well, at least I know what I did there. Okay, so one of those was yellow. That's what we were saying. Okay, I'm going back to this. I can't help it. Those can't be yellow, and that's not yellow, and that's not yellow. So yellow's in one of those two. Now I'm not putting yellow in one of those three. In fact, it's not in one of those three. And maybe yellow is not that helpful. But what did I do? I found that eight was looking at that cell. And this eight is looking at those cells. So eight is fine. I can put eight in this region. There. Oh, you numpty. Now that stops that being eight. But now I don't know between those two. But I do know about four, which is definitely here. And now four is definitely in one of these cells. And not there. What else do they mean? Something or nothing. Ah, four in this column can't be there or there now. So it's either here or here. That is quite interesting because it rules... F oh, four was already ruled out of these cells. Hmm, come on, four, do something. Four now can't be in those two. Or there. Oh, and it can't be in this yellow-white cell because of those fours. So four is now in one of those two. That feels interesting. Although I can't quite make use of it. Oh, we worked out earlier that if 4 was there, that would be a 4. 
then we would have fours here, here, one, uh, the corner specifically, um, I'm missing a shape that I can't even see, I haven't got a four in, oh it's this right hand shape, it would be there and there, okay that would work for fours, which is a crying shame because I want an elimination. I've got to use the clues. Mark, use the clues. Right, if that was a five, then we'd need a 12 here. That's not happening. If that was a six, 10, 11, these would have to add up to 11 without being six, five, or seven, four. That isn't happening. If this was an X sum clue and that was a seven, we're adding all of these and we're up to 15. It can work with a 5 there and a 2 there. 7210453. Oh, beasts. Now, if it was a sandwich clue, we've got 7 there and these make 15 and they would be 7 and 8. And I think that does work. And have I not thought about where 8 goes in this row before? It's in this region already, so 8 is in one of those two cells in this row. And they're both in this region, so 8 in the bottom row is in one of those two cells. Well, this is quite interesting. Although, opinions differ about what's interesting, I suppose. Okay, I failed to identify whether the 22 is an X sum clue beginning with 7, 2, and then a 5 here, or a sandwich clue with 7 here and 8 here, but it's one of those, so that's not a 5. So one of these two is a 5, one of these two is a 5, and they both see... no, of course they both see that cell. No, I worked out that this isn't a six. One of these two is a six, one of these two is a six. Now I'm confusing everything out of myself. Um, one of these two is a six, one of these two is a six. I can't even use that. That's incredible. Oh, this puzzle's ticked over the hour mark and very deservedly nearly had me beaten at some points, I would say. Oh, these are now from 2567. I am continuing to mark these. And I should go back to thinking about the colouring, perhaps or yellow specifically. In this region, those two can't be yellow. So one of those two is definitely yellow. Then what? Ah, in, you know, we've done this yellow, the yellow in this region. How many times do I need to be reminded? More times is the answer. More than that. Um, no, okay, yellow colouring didn't go anywhere. Two sees that cell, it's not a two. Okay, this 17 clue. That's, I can't use the question mark clue at this stage, so I've got to look at the 17 clue. If it was a X sum clue, this couldn't be eight. That would be far too many cells. If it was an X sum clue, this can't be three or four. It could be four if that was a seven, eight pair, but that can't be eight because it sees that. So this can't be four for an X sum clue. Could it be five? Then we've got up to a total of six. These have to add up to 11 without being five, six, two, nine, but they could be seven, four. So that's possible, 50471. If this was a 6, we've got 7 there, and these would add up to 10. They would have to be 2, 3, 5. No, they can't use a 3, and they can't use a 1. That's not possible. So a 7 is going to be too many because it's going to take in that, and we're bust as soon as we put in another digit after the 1. OK, so if it's X sums, we know exactly what is happening, and I've forgotten already. It was a 5 here, I think. And a 1 is obviously here, that's 6. These add up to 11, and they do it by being 7, 4. So the X sums version goes 5, 0, 4, 7. Right. 
the sandwich vers version makes these add up to 16. We can use an 8, 6, 2. I worked that out, but none of them can be... Oh no, the top one can be 8. The others could be 6, 2 in any wretched order. Or if we had a 7 as the top digit, they could be 7, 6, 3 or 754. I mean, I've been through that. They're so, so difficult to work on. This is really attritional, Darth. I mean, you could have put in another clue, honestly. I'm going to just have to do Knight's Move Sudoku until I find something. I'm not good at it. That's very tough. You're probably shouting something at the screen now. Eight, can't... Okay, look, let's look at the eights. We've got four of them in the grid. We know there's one in row eight somewhere there and one in row ten somewhere there. Okay, now I've just seen, therefore, that the one in row five is in one of those two cells, which definitely account for the one in this region. So the 8 in this column is there, which is not what I needed to know for this column. It would have been really useful, actually, to have an 8 there. Didn't get it. Didn't deserve it. 8's in... OK, let's go 8 again, because we've got another one there. Um, and we've got 8 in one of those two and one of those two. Now, in row 4, not in the same shape. Oh, that's the same column. Right, so we've got either the... Ah, can't be here, because that sees both of those. So actually, the only place for 8 is there, and that sorts out 8 down here. Now, that was useful in the 22 column, wasn't it? Does the sandwich work? Yes, it does, with a 7 there. Does the X sum work? And I think it does with a 6 here, wasn't it? It was, no, with a 7 here. 7, 2, 1, 0, 4, 5, 3. So unfair. So unfair. Seven, two, five. I don't know. And six would be there. Whereas the sandwich just needs a seven here. I can't see why any of these things are problems. OK, back to the eights then. We've got, we're have got we climbing up the grid. We've got one in one of those two. Row two, I seem to have highlighted those cells. Row one now. Well, it's there or there. Oh, I see. Row two is resolved. That's what you're telling me. OK, that's an eight. Row one, it's there or there. And I... You know, that's just that's just an X-wing in two different regions. That's all I've got left in eights. I feel exhausted even getting that far. Um, OK, this can't be a four, so that's five, six, or seven. This can't be a four, so the four in this shape is now in one of those two. Oh, there are things one can do now. Like, once you get something going, I always forget, it really makes the Knight's Move thing work better. OK, that can't be a 4. I'll tell you why. Because either one of those two is a 4, in which case that isn't, and that is the 4 in row 2, or that is the 4 in row 2. So that is not the 4 in row 2. We've got 4 in the corner. And still 2, 5, 6, 7 to place in this region, of course. And I am going to pencil mark them now. OK, how are fours getting on? We've got columns one, two, three, and five. We need a four. Ah, we need a four in this shape, and we can just place it. There we go. That gets us four in that region. That gets us four in row nine. Now, fours are coming along nicely. We keep going with the four in... No, these are not marked as the two places for four in this row. In fact, there's no four in those cells, so one of these three is now a four. 
Okay, I could easily get very confused here. If that's a 4, that's a 4, and that's a 4. Alternatively, that's a 4, and that's a 4. And then there's nowhere for 4 in the final column. Oh no, then that's... No, hang on, we've got 4s down here. What am I talking about? That's been eliminated, so that is a 4. Okay, so that's not. One of those two is... And that's now ruled out, and that's ruled out, so that's a four, and that's a four, and fours are done. Okay, come on. Come on, keep going. Nothing has affected this. Ah, this has got affected, has it? Five there. Now, what were we going to start with? It was going to be a five with a four there and a seven there, so that's still very much on for the X sum. Five there, seven there. Now, for the sandwich, these have to add up to 12. And they can't be 210 or 66, so they would have to be 57. So this is always 5 or In fact, can both of those be 57? Yes, they can. They would both see yellow. Yellow would be 6. This one, though, is 5 or 7, either way round. I mean, I wish that was going to do something. Maybe I should colour this cell and see what happens to that now. Because it's not there, is it? I don't know. OK, let's colour it. It's not green and it's not yellow, which may be the same thing, green and yellow. Remember that. I'm trying to remember it. It's either there or there, this red one. It's not very helpful. I mean, it's either there or there. Okay, forget red. Although, what can I actually do? I'm not going to use this question mark. I refuse. It's going to come later. I'm probably going to use it later. I mean, still, I sincerely believe that. Oh, 2 is in one of these cells now, in this, in this shape. Therefore, 2 is in one of those two. Um, 2 is in one of these two, in that shape. And 2 is in one of those two. So 2 has just got ruled out of all of these and goes in here. That's quite exciting, potentially. Again, excitement is in the eye of the beholder, but... That's not a 2. So now 2 is definitely in one of those two in that region. They're not looking at anywhere in particular together, annoyingly. 2 is in one of those two in this weird shape region. Oh, bother. I thought I was going to get something done. 2 is in one of those cells, so that's not a 2. Either that is or that is. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. No, I was going to say if that's a two, that's a two. And then that has to be a two. That probably is going to be right. If that was a two, that immediately has to be a 2. So either way round, that's going to be a 2, I think. OK, that's interesting from another point of view then. If that's right, let me just check. If that's a 2, then the 2 in this row is definitely there. So they're both 2s. And now that... Oh, that's the only cell. OK, I got it wrong. Man, that's annoying. Oh, that can't be a 2 because of the pressure from here and here. So the only... Oh, no, nearly the only place for 2 in this column. I think it's left with those two places. Why does it have to be so hard? 6 is in one of those cells in this row, so that's not 6. In fact, let's give this a colour. 
just see for a moment whether anything happens because they both see that cell. So that is a different color from yellow and blue. And we're looking at two, five, six, and seven, as always in this puzzle. Two, five, six, and seven. Do three of them all see somewhere? No, not really. Oh, well, they all see this, so that's the fourth color. Two, five, six, and seven are the unknown beasties. And they both see that, so that's orange or red. Yellow and blue both see that. Orange and yellow both see that. Orange and yellow both see that. I mean, you could do this all day until you found something. Okay, two is definitely in one of those two cells now. We've got that. Oh yeah, I was, I was gonna work on twos. Even though I've only got two of them, I thought they were gonna give me something. That's not a two, so one of those three is. But we know that two in the final column is down in the bottom shape, so one of those two is a two now. And that's not a two, and there's only one place left for two in this region. I hope that logic was right, because that fixes two in the final column here. And that takes two out of those cells, and it can't be here on the ninth move, so two is there. Now we are cracking along with twos. Perhaps we need a two, oh, two positions. That's not one, though. So in this, no, we've got two places in that row. Let's highlight them again. Twos, come on, twos. That's not the only position in this column because it could be there. That can't be a two because it sees both of those. So in this column, two's in one of those cells. Oh, but it's not there by ordinary Sudoku. So in this column, it has to be here because of that knight's move pair. So that's not a two now. In this column, it has to be at the bottom. I didn't really need to make it red then. That's not a two. Highlight the twos again, working up row by row. It's got to be there in row four. Highlight them again, row two and one to go. Columns. They've got to be there and there. That's the twos. They're not yellow. That is not a two. In fact, anything else I've got pencil marked as a two is not a two. There and there. Okay, so we're down to five, six, and seven. Oh, what about the... This is still okay for the X sum. Seven there and five here. Now, what about the sandwich? 8, 12, 15, that's a 7. That's so annoying. So this is 5 or 6, it's not a 7. One of those, because of either the sandwich or the X sum. So one of those is a 7 and that's not. So in this row, one of those is a 7. I want to say somewhere that they both see and I can't find anywhere. I'm just going to literally mark in the other five, six, sevens in the puzzle because, I don't know, I've got nothing else going. Oh, one of those is a seven in the bottom row, so that's not a seven in green, and that was the same as this one, so that's not a seven. Green, of course, could still be yellow. I am aware of that. Yellow or blue. Right, orange sees those two. Yeah, that's a triple. They all see each other. So that must be the yellow one. Okay, let's do colouring. That's blue. These are blue and orange in some order, and they both see that cell, which is therefore yellow. Yellow is therefore different from green. And that, oh, but I don't know whether green is blue or orange yet, do I? No. Let's take out the green colouring. Um, this is blue and orange. Yes, we just used that. Oh, hang on. I'm wrong, because one of them's an eight. We did not use that. We weren't allowed to use that. That was blue. Okay, we were allowed that. One of these is an eight. I've still got this eight X-wing left that I'd forgotten about. Ah, yay, yay, yay. Right, yellow, blue in this column. That's orange. That doesn't see anything. 
They see yellow, so it's blue or orange. That sees yellow. Oh, this can't be yellow anymore. That is yellow. Right, how are we doing for yellow? We've got rows three, four, five, six. Yes, I can put it into row two using the knight's move. And row one. Come on, yellow. Yield yourself up. Yellow in this region is going to have to be there. And now this green colour has gone blue. And that is definitely it. So that is definitely yellow. This is orange. Might as well remember the orange. Yellow sees that, obviously. I've still got two yellows to do and I can't disambiguate them. But I'm on to blues now. That's going to have to be blue in its region. That's going to have to be blue in the top right region. That is possibly... Yes, that is going to have to be blue in its column. That... Oh, hang on. One of these is... That's orange. And that's blue. And we've got all the lower half blues. We need... That one in row two and that one in row three. And the oranges, I hadn't finished the yellows, had I? But I can do some oranges in the top half at least. There, they're all orange. Orange in column one seems to be there because it can't be here. In fact, that sees all of blue, yellow and orange. So that finishes off our eights. This is a tough puzzle, but I'm going to beat an hour and a half now. So in the corner, I've got five, six. Oh, no, I'm not going to pencil mark those. I'm just going to colour. Just going to colour. This sees yellow and blue, so it's orange. This is now yellow. This is now orange. This is now yellow. Have I got them all coloured? Blue, orange and yellow in every row? Yes. So now I just need to disambiguate them using using um, equivalences, like the blues sometimes don't have a seven in, so I'm taking seven out of those cells. The oranges sometimes don't have six in, so I'm taking six out of those. But the yellows can be anything, so I'm going to have to use the clues outside the grid. This one has been remarkably ambiguous. This one has also been remarkably ambiguous, but let's see if we can figure it out now. As a sandwich, these two have to add up to 12. Orange would be 7 and blue would be 5. As an X sum, this was going to be 5. And orange would be 7. Didn't I just say orange was 7 in the sandwich version? In the X sum version, orange is 7. In the sandwich version, orange is 7. So orange is 7. Thank you, 17 clue. You did something. Right, now this can't be the X sum version anymore. The sandwich version has worked already here. But I now know that yellow is not seven. So I've got five and six left. And here comes Mr. Question Mark and his crazy clue. Okay, we can finally work on it. And it's going to do our last bit of disambiguation. And it's going to be glorious, frankly. Okay, what's going to happen? If this was a six at the top, then the X sum version would add up to 19, no, 24. And the sandwich version would add up to 17. They're very different. So that is likely to be the answer. If this was 5, then the X sum version would add up to 18. And the sandwich version would add up to 18. There we go. Isn't that marvellous? So if that was a five, this question mark would be an ambiguous clue because both X sum and sandwich would give 18. So it's not. So blue is six and yellow is five and that completes the puzzle. What an amazing event adventure. What a remarkable puzzle that is. Star-crossed sandwiches and they were star-crossed indeed. I shake my head in admiration for you, Darth Paradox. We have... We have dueled with our lightsabers to the ends of time. And the puzzle is solved. 
Um, one of the mantras we use occasionally, and Richard Rogan was fa fond of saying this, is that the, the battle between Solver and Setter should be fierce, but it should ultimately, the Setter wants to let the Solver win. I'm not sure Darth did want to let us win, but we did win, and thank you. Thanks for watching, hope to see you again soon on the channel. Wow, bye for now.